It's really a me. I, I want to know what you're going to do with that. <laughs> I'd hope I would just... I see your comments and I read them all, even the crazy ones. And recently, I got a lot of suggestions to check out the TV show Beavis and Butthead. That's right, we're going to take a look at some of the strange and out there crazy medical situations from the TV show. Beavis and Butthead centers on two unintelligent teenage couch potatoes named Beavis and Butthead who lack social skills. When they are not at school or out causing mayhem, they usually would be posted up in front of the TV. And Beavis and Butthead have no adult supervision at home and are barely literate. So this should be interesting to say the least. Before we get into it, my name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doctor that deals with every medical situation that you can think of. I created this channel to answer the medical questions that I get from people every single day. If you find this video helpful, please smack that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. All right, let's dive right in. My butt hurts! <laughs> oh, his butt hurts. Go sit. Oh my gosh, his butt's on fire. We'll get to you eventually. <laughs> no smoking, but his butt's smoking. <laughs> If he's got a butt injury or a buttocks injury, I don't think it'd be smart to sit down and hurt the areas. I'd advise if that happens to make sure you're standing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> What's happening? Hey, listen, I'm gonna have to ask you to keep it down. <laughs> What's that smell? Why is he smoking still? Hey, Gurney, Stat, got a crispy critter. Oh my gosh. I can't feel my butt. Oh my gosh. I can't feel my butt. Son, it's all right. It's just the anesthesia. So if you can't feel his butt, that potentially is a second degree deep burn or a third degree burn, both which need a skin graft. Sounds like they use some anesthesia. So again, you shouldn't be able to feel your butt. They do specific nerve block to the nerves of that tissue area. I love that the other character uh, is now into the OR just walking around. Typically, it doesn't happen. You can randomly walk around the hospital. Uh. Okay. Should he needs to wear a mask? All right, let's do oh, it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> spreader. So the spreader actually looks like a speculum. By medical definition, it's just something that actually uh, is two pieces that spreads apart. Typically, we use them in female exams where it's basically up and down. But we also use them in nasal exams. There's a nasal speculum where it actually goes side to side, so we can get a better view. In. What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> you won't feel anything, oh son. Um, really, um, I, I want to know what you're going to do with that. <laughs> I'd hope I would just... Oh! <laughs> it was almost like a rocket out of his butt. Oh my goodness. So I wonder if he like lit a firecracker or like a firework that he put inside his butthole. Oh my gosh. I'm glad it went out and they were able to defuse the situation. Um, but it was really funny that he literally took off. All right. Public service announcements. So please... Don't put any foreign bodies into your anus. It can go up into your rectum. It can get lost. Dangerous things can happen. Things can perforate. So no fireworks, no sharp objects, nothing like that. Whoa, check it out. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Does the dog have rabies? Oh my goodness. Ow! Ow, ripping tissue, it could break bones. Not a good idea. Don't touch it. Oh, don't do that. Okay, no, don't don't touch an uh, open wound with dirty finger that you just licked. Not a good idea. It needs to be cleaned out. Regular tap water, fine to clean this out. Oh my gosh. See what else is going on. So, Butthead just gave Beavis something that makes him foam at the mouth. <laughs> it's no joking about this. You gotta take this seriously. What is that? Oh, he's disinfecting it with some sort of horrible green drink. Sports drinks have nutrients. Sports drinks have nutrients, okay. Sports drinks have sugar and some electrolytes, okay. They do not have nutrients in the sense of protectants against wounds and infections. Don't pour that over anything, that's hilarious. You need to clean that out with water. It doesn't necessarily have to be sterile water, clean water. Typically, if you have an animal bite like that, you actually don't close it all the way because what happens is it's most likely going to get infected. So we will close it mostly, but it has to have an area where it needs to drain. And typically, if you have an animal bite or a human bite, you will be put on prophylactic antibiotics, most likely. Trees piss me off. Trees piss him off. He bought it, check it out. 
<laughs> it's stuck in the crotch of a tree. <laughs> what is that? Oh, their kite is stuck in the tree. Oh, man, and it's a storm out. There's going to be some sort of electricity happening. Experiment to do. Let me get the stupid kite down. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> Pushing on the tree. Okay. Okay, all right. Climbing up to get it. But I see lightning in the background. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! Struck by lightning. Oh my goodness. What just happened? Oh, the tree's going down. So get away from the tree. But they look like they're stuck to it. Oh, I think they're... I think they portrayed them as almost dead. But they're at the emergency department now. Getting struck by lightning actually does happen. And typically it'll actually go right through you and you'll actually see basically like where it goes in and out. Pretty crazy. And literally it can stop your heart. It's like getting shocked by electricity, just crazy amounts. One of the monitors has a normal uh, electrocardiogram reading and then the other one is flatline, but we'll see what's going on here. Oh, uh, this one seems okay, but the other one got hit pretty bad. The EKG shows a pulse, but there seems to be little brain activity. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Bothead. Betsy Weiner, Decency and Media. Uh, uh what's your name? Betsy Weiner. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So he's he's a teenager, right? So he has said Weiner, so he's laughing, and then his monitor is going through the roof, so just laughing. After imitating something you saw on TV. Could you tell me about it? What? Uh, we were watching this TV show that had some like old dude with long hair and glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get a story from a teenager to understand what happened to them is hard to do. They think they're going to be in trouble most of the time. When it comes to healthcare, we just need to know what happened so we can help you. It's a confidential medical record. Nobody should be able to be able to see it. So. Tell the truth as best you can, that way we can help you. No, table saw, I think that's a table saw. Saw through a table. Bad idea, look at the way he's just, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, don't touch things like that. Oh my gosh, he just chopped off his finger. If that happens, put a gauze, try to stop the bleeding on the finger that's intact. On the other piece that just flew right off, find it, wrap it, put it in wet, gauze and then put it on ice and get to the hospital and see if they can reattach it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. And he's watching it bleed. So on every finger you have blood vessels that go down each side of the finger. So if you cut on the sides of the finger, you have the major blood vessels and so you're gonna have arterial bleeding just squirting out and pumping pretty hard. So typically when that happens, you can try to do compression, but a lot of times even in the hospital when we're trying to sew things back up, we'll use a tourniquet around the finger to slow the bleeding so we can see what we're doing. Oh, oh man. No. Put, put pressure on the cut, get a tourniquet. <laughs> the uh, teacher knew what he was talking about. Oh my gosh. Dear God, where's the first aid kit? <laughs> <laughs> These two guys are ridiculous. They're, they're just watching him bleed out. Oh my gosh, look at all the blood that's happening. Even, even in that situation, put direct pressure on it even if you don't have gauze or... You can have a t-shirt and just put direct pressure on it. But uh, Beavis and Butthead obviously are just more entertained by the amount of blood that's coming out. Bleeding from the finger, it's gonna take a while to bleed out. Gotta put pressure on it, gotta seek medical attention. Take your own blood pressure. All right. Hey, we see those at CVS, Walgreens, any of the pharmacies here in the United States. This one's a forearm one, which is okay. <laughs> yeah, turn it on. All right. Yep, pressure. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So normally it's done up in the bicep area can be done on the forearm, but you gotta remain still. So if you're contracting, moving your muscles, it actually cannot get a reading. Right, just push cancel, just push cancel, turn it off. Warning, hold the arm still. Emergency release. <laughs> oh, don't pull it that way. All right, everybody hates the blood pressure cuff. The blood pressure cuff inflates to get your blood pressure, right? Normal blood pressure, 110 over 70. The numbers change, all depends on what your blood pressure is, right? So it actually keeps pumping higher and higher and higher. 
and it really, really hurts. And that's why his hand is turning red, his face is turning red because he's freaking out, which I would too. Now, if it's on there for too long, half hour, hour, you're gonna have muscle breakdown, you can have ischemia of your tissue, you gotta be really, really careful. But I remember seeing Beavis and Butthead when I was a kid. I don't remember any of these medical clips part of it. It's really funny, they're two teenagers that are definitely not appropriately behaving and get themselves into funky situations. But from a medical standpoint, doing pretty good. I love the show, it's very entertaining. Do you have a favorite show that features medical situations that you want me to react to? Let me know which show or episode in the comments below. And if you want to see me react to video games, check me out on Experts React series on Gameology. And as always, make sure you subscribe to see more fun videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.